Hello. I think I look a little red with my lighting. I apologize for that. Um, this video is going to be about a social anxiety topic, social phobia, and um, social blunder I made, <laughs> major. Um, and I will be posting a bipolar video uh, book review. Um, I'll be taping it today, um, um, but I might wait a few days to upload it. Anyway, anyhow, my blunder. Well, first of all, you know, the difference between social phobia and someone who is a recluse, you know, people with social phobia generally desire to be around people and have social lives and be in social situations. It's just that the circumstances and requirements to, to attain and maintain those are so awkward feeling and stressful that we're actually avoiding the anxiety involved and not people. And it's very painful to long for relationships with people, even acquaintance, chit-chat, and be unable to do so out of fear. And I know that everyone who has any sort of social life, even if it's just like at work or something, we all have made blunders. Said something that someone overheard that shouldn't have, or said something out of anger, or um, done something in the moment. It's just a mess. And, and I will do my best and start feeling comfortable with some people. And then one of those things happens. I do one of those stupid ass things that usually revolves around the anxiety, avoiding it, and I destroy friendships. I have destroyed friendships all my life because I made judgments based on avoiding anxiety rather than dealing with the anxiety that would accompany doing the right thing. Now, what does all that mean? That means, okay, there's a person that I like as a person and consider a friend that I encounter a lot in my pretty much daily life and have to work with. Um, where, um, anyway, in a sort of work situation. And um, um, we needed to have each other's emails, you know, for the work type situation. But she was sending me, you know, those things that people just forward. And some of them were cute, animal related, and that was the work we do. And um, some were cute, but most were religious and political related and exactly the opposite of my views and it was enough that I was you know and I'm sure I was just on a long list of what she forwarded to but it was getting bothersome to me the I was not liking the emails I still liked her but I was wishing she would not send me these emails but I felt so much anxiety of trying to figure out, how, you know, all it was, all it would have taken was a simple email saying, I like the animal emails you send me, but I prefer you not send me the religious and political ones. How hard could that have been? But there was so much anxiety related to doing that, either in email or in person, I avoided it. And I chose to ignore it and just let it ride. But they just kept more and more coming. Like every day I'd have a couple. 
and I some of them upset me so much because they would have a propaganda bent that really irks me and I needed to vent I needed to release and I couldn't release to her and so I released to my most safe person my mother and I received one today that was particularly disturbing and I don't even know if she realized the connotations of the email um, but to me there was a prejudice bent um, skin color wise uh, to the email and I kind of found it disgusting and I was angry and I sent my I was intending to forward this to my mother to show it to her and then vent on how you can learn so much about a person by what they decide to forward you because she never talks about any of these political and religious and certain views in person and I found it interesting and kind of educational in a psychological scientific kind of way those were words I actually used and I hit sent but I didn't put my mom's email in it and it went to the woman who sent me the videos oh my god the panic attack I had I'm never gonna be able to go to my favorite place to go my life's work right now the animal shelter what gives my life meaning I'm not I, I can't show my face there all because of social anxiety because I could not just tell her in the beginning please don't send these to me I like the dog ones but don't send the others that's all it took but I wanted to avoid the anxiety and chose to ignore them except for venting to one person only my mother and I paid the price I don't know I I spoke with my mother to talk it through and I typed out another email I explained that I was not really upset with her it was the email itself and why I, I and that I was in the wrong I should have spoken to her and why I didn't and that I was very sorry so my advice to you all it is better to endure the anxiety intense panic that you will feel when you have to confront someone conflict because when you screw up in such a way like this what you feel is a million times worse than any anxiety you would have felt if you would have dealt with it properly this kind of thing has happened to me throughout my life avoiding conflict talking about it to someone else and then that person finding out and losing that person this could mean such a negative environment for me to feel anxiety at my safe safest place where I felt feel so good and useful and important to the team that I may not want to go there anymore all because of that so learn from my mistake and endure the anxiety and resolve your conflict even if you have to write it down instead of speak it don't just let it go that's the end of that